Hello and welcome to Newsfeed on Trust TV. I am Sumaya Abubakar taking you through the stories trending online that people are talking about and sharing around the globe today. Why my SSCE certificate carries Sadiq Abubakar says Atiku Abubakar. No fuel subsidy whatsoever, NNPCL clarifies. Federal government to compel airlines to pay compensation for delayed and cancelled flights. An Israeli prime minister says what we do to Hamas in the coming days will reverberate with them for generations. On top of what's trending today, we have why my SSCE certificate carries Sadiq Abubakar. That's according to Atiku Abubakar. The former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, has come out to explain why his senior secondary school examination SSCE certificate bore a different name, Sadiq Abubakar, instead of Atiku Abubakar. The presidential candidate of the PDP in the 2023 presidential election made the clarification through Dele Momodu, who took to his ex handle to convey the explanation. Mamadou, who was the director of strategic communications of the PDP presidential campaign council, said that the clarification is a response to allegations of forgery against his principal by members of the ruling All Progressive Congress, the APC. He claimed that some APC members had questioned the name Sadiq Abubakar in Atiku's YX certificate as against his other credentials. Mamadou, however, said he forwarded the questions to Atiku, who provided an answer for the discrepancy. A netizen commented, is it everything that they forge in this country? Another person said, even if you are all the names, Sir Atiku, you won't smell that post. As someone else wrote, so you live in a glass house and you are throwing stones. He who comes to equity must be with clean hands, Mr. Sadiq. Next on what's trending, we have the federal government has dismissed the report claiming that it has restored subsidy for premium motor spirits, PMS, also known as petrol. Oil marketers and a section of organized labor have recently alleged that the government had restored the subsidy contrary to its earlier resolve, claiming that with the removal of the subsidy, fuel pump price stability, despite fluctuations, is unexplainable. The National President of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasen, Festus Osifo, in a recent interview with Channels TV, said that the federal government is still paying subsidy on petroleum in spite of President Bola Tinubu saying that subsidy era is gone. He said that the federal government is still paying subsidy for the product because of the cost of crude oil in the international market and the dollar to naira rate. However, responding to journalist questions at the presidential villa Abuja after a meeting with President Tinubu on Monday, October 9th, the group chief executive officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, Mele Kari, said there is no fuel subsidy at all. He said, I told you there is no subsidy whatsoever. We are recovering our full cost from the product that we import. We sell to the market. We understand why the marketers are unable to import. We hope that they do this very quickly. And these are some of the interventions the government is doing. There is no subsidy, he emphasized. A netizen said, so who is paying the difference between the landing cost and pump price? A guy asked, why are Nigerians refineries not working? Another guy asked, what is our government doing about false news? The social media are doing more harm than good. Next on what's got people talking is the federal government who has said that it will soon issue an order compelling the airline operators to start paying compensation to passengers for delayed and cancelled flights not contributed or attributed to natural occurrences. The Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Keamo, disclosed this during a meeting with airline operators in Abuja on Monday, October 9th. He said, on delayed flights, I want to speak for ordinary Nigerians who complain every day about delayed or cancelled flight. I know that you have said all your reasons. You have blamed the government and a few things we do. But I also want to say that it is not all the time that it is the government. We will start implementing the provisions of the NCAA Act. You know, Nigerians don't know there is compensation for delay. If it is an act of God, you cannot pay. But if it is human fault, the NCAA Act says that you will pay. So for all airline operators, while I have praised and supported you, I will also support Nigerians. You will pay them. After some time, I will put my foot on the ground. Pay them when you delay or cancel their flight, he said.
However, Kayamo urged the airline operators to build stable communication channels to enable passengers to get cancellation notices. Inetizen said, air peace and cancellation are five and six. They will pay tire. Someone wrote, good development, listening to the people is the beginning of a successful democratic government. And a lady added, hope airlines won't compromise passenger safety to prevent paying compensation. Indeed. Next on what's trending, we have a Nigerian Army Special Court Marshal sitting in Abuja on Tuesday, October 10th, sentenced a former group managing director of Nigerian Army Properties Limited, Major General Omar Mohammed, to seven years imprisonment for stealing the sum of $2,178,900 and 1.65 billion naira belonging to the Nigerian Army Property Limited, the ANAPL. It was reported that Mohammed was sentenced after the court found him guilty of 14 count charges out of the 18 count charges brought before the court, bordering on forgery, misappropriation of funds, and conspiracy, amongst others. The accused had, however, earlier pleaded not guilty to all the charges pressed against him. At the resumed sitting on Tuesday, where the judgment was given, the eight-man panel, led by Major General James Miam, stated that the convicted senior military officer was found guilty in 14 out of 18 charges. Miam said that Count 1 was bought under Section 383, Subsection 1 of the Criminal Code Act Cap, C-38 Law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and punishable under Section 390, Subsection 7, adding the charge was also brought pursuant to Section 114 of the Armed Forces Act Cap, A-20-2004. He is expected to return all the money to the Nigerian Army. Inetizen commented, why are some humans so greedy? A guy opined, anytime they steal money, then they pretend to be sick. A lady wrote, thank God for the impartial and disciplined officers that handled the case. Kudos to General Miam for this sentence. We need more people like him in our government to help purge the corruption in our society. Now let's take a quick break and when we come back, you will see what the EFCC are saying about skills allegations. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's News Feed. The EFCC admits arresting two suspected internet fraudsters in Skills resident, says the suspect described the singer as their mentor. Operatives of the Lagos Command of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, have arrested two suspected internet fraudsters at the residence of Nigerian singer John Njeng Njeng, a.k.a. Skills. This is coming hours after the singer accused EFCC operatives of illegally invading his home. The Anti-Graft Commission, in a statement, said the suspects who were arrested on Tuesday, October 10, 2023, at the musician's house, located at Victoria Crest 4, Lekki, Lagos, claimed that Skills is their mentor. The suspects, Udemba Chukwemeka, a.k.a. Jody, and Jamal Jamil Onashola, a.k.a. Jamal, were arrested at the residence of a musician, Jung Njeng Njeng, a.k.a. Skills, the statement reads. The two suspects suspected to being involved in dating scam described Njeng as their mentor. While Chukwemeka has been in Njeng's residence for two years, Onashola has only stayed there for a few months. They will be charged to court as soon as investigations are concluded, the statement added. A netizen said, why did they deny raiding his residence before? A guy wrote, I guess nothing was found on the mentor, or how can you mentor people and you're not arrested for the said thing? I don't understand a lot of things. Another guy asked, why putting out his home address? Indeed.
Next on what's trending, we have the Nigerian actor and comedian Charles Inoje, who brought to light a plague that appears to have eaten deep into the Nollywood industry. On a recent episode of OAP Nedu's podcast, the Johnson stars pointed out that the Nigerian film industry has been polluted by a particular sect of ladies who use the profession of an actress to hide their uncouth means of making money. Charles claimed that some of these ladies claimed to be award-winning actresses with no good movies in their catalog. He asserted that all they do is sell their bodies and acquire big cars and mansions, hiding under the umbrella of the movie profession when, in actual reality, they couldn't make it past the audition stage. You know, Jay added that the issue of sex for role in Nollywood is not perpetrated by just filmmakers, but also some actresses who throw themselves or at them to get movie roles. Take a look at what he had to say. The influx of the daughters uh, of daughters of Jay Z that came into the industry, still coming into the industry, mm -hmm. you will not say this person no, first not be even say in roles more. You know, if he pass audition <laughs> to start with. Struggle with one small role here, struggle with one small role there, struggle with another small role there. The next thing you hear is that he just acquired a uh, multi million man. Yes, uh, 2025 <laughs> Range Rover. Uh, he just, no, no that 40 million is not her mansion. Now, that one, they usually they give their mom, their mom, and then for a mom, uh, uh, just got 40 million. Naira mansion for her mom. The one which they say they, they, now from one fifty, there about. Uh, now you can begin uh, ask yourself, what did they happen? Is it that after they don't pay us, they will call some people back? Then they call me. I know so my money would. <laughs> I know. Now when I be knowledge. Someone opined, hearing this from a very responsible legend will tell you that it is what it is. Another person said. He say whether after they pay us finish, they call other people back. It reached to ask that question. And a guy added, the issue is a national issue, not just in Nollywood alone. Next on what's trending, we have the Israeli Prime Minister has declared intentions to obliterate Hamas for the deadly surprise attacks by the Palestinian militant group a few days ago that saw hundreds of Israelis killed. Netanyahu compared Hamas to the Islamic State group and said Israel planned to deploy unprecedented force that would reverberate for generations. We have only started striking Hamas, Netanyahu 73 said in a national televised address. What we will do to our enemies in the coming days will reverberate with them for generations. Hamas terrorists bound, burned and executed children. They are savages. Hamas is ISIS, Netanyahu concluded. Thousands of Hamas targeted have been wiped out in a brutal aerial bombing campaign, Israeli defense officials claimed. Israel also ordered a complete siege of Gaza, cutting off electricity, fuel and food for, for the 2.3 million Palestinians who, for the most part, were already living in abject poverty. The few days old war has already claimed at least 1,600 lives as Israel saw gun battles in the streets of its own towns for the first time in decades and neighbors, neighborhoods in Gaza were reduced to rubble. Inetizen commented, the truth is war isn't good for anybody, but if you are the weaker side, don't complain about the consequences of drawing the first blood. A lady said, Israel has been throwing bombs on Palestine for more than a decade. No outcry from the whole world. But now that the Palestine reacts, the world is crying. Where is humanity? God will defend Palestine. He who is with God is with the majority. What God cannot do does not exist. And someone else wrote, Dear God, grant wisdom to leaders worldwide that they may make decisions that promote peace and unity among the nations. Indeed, amen to that. And lastly, on to a funny video of a baby who was hurt by his mom's deception. Take a look. <laughs> that was a case of what I ordered versus what I got. And that is all on Newsfeed today on Trust TV. Follow us and subscribe to all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X. Bye.